And we're back. And we have a new type of war wasp. Red barbed war wasp. One of the most aggressive varieties of wasp. The red barbed war wasp uses body heat to generate an ingenious projectile. And it dies just as easily as everything else does. Also, the game does something really random right here. Not the blast cap. In here, you get a little cutscene. It's Silex's ship. And it's hard to tell with this game's graphics, but it kind of looked like it was on fire. But I think that was just the smoke from it driving. I don't know. But it never explains what the heck that was all about. We never see Silex here. Or his ship. Olympic War II. Without warning, our doom fell from the sky. From whence it came, we do not know. Goria won. The horror shrieked its name. Goria. Olympic Garden. Scans indicate fossilized remains of Olympic plant life. I see nothing. Goria II. Excuse me. Goria's power beyond reckoning and evil unrelenting. The universe has not known terror such as this. Also, it didn't even occur to me, but I, um... I made that uh, Spiral Knights video a little while ago. I should make another one, because I'm long since... Not only really done the game, but I'm as maxed out as I can ever get. And I'm just waiting before we do the Shadow Lairs. I'm taking a break from the game, because we had played it for two months straight, basically, so... I'm just having a little break. And then, when we go back in, I'll buy another pass, because I'll inevitably feel like just playing the hell out of the game again. And... We'll do the Shadow Lairs, and... Yeah. But I should make a... Revised video of my night. Because so I've got a heck of a lot of work done since that other video I made. And soloing the Jelly King, that was, you know, all, um... I was all proud of that and everything, and now it's meh. <laughs> Jelly King's not hard. Vanaduke soloing him, that that's an achievement. And something I will never be able to do. Psychobit V3. Similar to design to earlier models, this version fires superheated magma at its target. I actually don't. There's no reason to kill anything in here. I'm just gonna ooh, see you guys later. More guardians. I think there's more guardians. More guardians. Yep, they're behind me. We have the Magmol. There's three of them, oh dear. Uh, I think the slowdown would be helping my aim. Ouch. Oh yeah, I've been playing a lot of Resident Evil 5 lately. I have to turn the graphic settings down a bit for it to run on my laptop, but it's playable. It only lags in certain rooms very occasionally, so it's not that bad. I'm having fun. I wrote a review on it on Steam, which pretty much states my feelings. I, personally, I don't see why people hate on that game so much. I love it. Yeah, it's not as good as 4. In some instances, actually. It, there's a few cases where I actually like it better than 4. Mainly the control style. There's one, I think it's control style B, that lets you strafe. That is insanely useful, and that's something I've always whined about in Resident Evil 4. Why can't, like, why can't you strafe, you know? There's no, um prompt for dodging normal enemies, or you don't even need a prompt, just assign one of your buttons to roll. You roll in the direction you're moving. It's a dodge roll. Like, you can still get hit while doing it, but just, you know, have it there. That would be so much more useful. Also, lava spawn. This guy annoys me. Oh, fire spawn, my mistake. A large creature that thrives on extreme heat. The fire spawn breathes superheated lava and never ventures far from its home pit. This creature is particularly unfriendly to carbon-based life forms and will hur fire hurl fireballs at anything approaching its territory. Also, it's kind of freaky music that sounds very similar to the uh, Parasite Queen. I think it might be the Parasite Queen's theme, actually, just remixed a little. 
That went much better than it did on my uh, practice run. Time to scan stuff. Council chamber. Assembly hall for Olympic elders. Extreme structural damage evident. You know, hence the... Uh, also, orange force field. Superheated magma. Hence the lava everywhere. That's another projectile sensitive switch. Writing on the wall. No. Yeah, glyph pattern. Contains unknown characters. Untranslatable. Why? Why is it untranslatable? You're gonna give up that easily? Boing. You've obtained the magma. Powered by a hyperstatic hydrogen core, this weapon fires cohesive projectiles of superheated magma. And we have almost all the weapons. Just missing the Imperialist. Up here is an E-Tank. No. Only one more left. I think I remember where it is, actually. Also, there's another thing to scan on the wall over here, I forgot. Wall scroll. This language cannot be translated. Fooey. Here is a random guardian. Get out of here, guardian. No one wants you. And we got more stuff to scan. Olympic War III. Goryeo was immune to even our more so most sophisticated weaponry, while we were defenseless against its relentless attacks. So Goryeo was... hacking. <laughs> we have seen Goryeo alter... Goryeo 5. We have seen Goryeo alter its atomic structure from a vapor to a solid. Our scientists believe Goryeo may also possess other shape-changing abilities. So what do you do against something like that? Send Samus, of course. What else? Or possibly Mega Man. We knew that if we did not stop Goria, it would rampage across the galaxy, devouring everything in its path. Or Gordon Freeman, I'm sure he could find some find a way to uh, get rid of it. There's nothing he can do. Yeah, I'm a bit of a Half-Life fan. I missed you last time. Olympic Pride 4. Those who survived appeared lifeless and hollow, as if their very spirits had been sucked dry. Street bats. I always forget about them. Oh yeah, this room. This room has... Ice Valdrums. A late advance in Valdrum technology featuring freezing projectiles. Its pulse tube cryo coolers are extremely susceptible to high temperature impact. Ah! Stop freezing me. Oh my gosh. Stop pushing me around. You're definitely one of my least favorite enemies. Because you push so much. Okay. I'm actually going to do this room last. No. Yeah, actually. That'll make this quicker. Uh, did, no, don't want to go down there yet. We have stuff to scan. Lava Propester 2. Processor 202. Operating at minimum capacity. Why can't I talk when I record? Blah. Lava Processor 1. Utilizes orogenic activity for treatment and processing of ingenious material. I hope I'm pronouncing some of these words right. <laughs> Backup Processor. Deconstructed for maintenance. Apparently incomplete. That's actually a little fun fact. Uh, I learned... When I was a kid, I learned quite a bit of my vocabulary from the first two Metroid Primes. <laughs> Olympic Pride 2. Our pride was a veil over our eyes. We did not see the danger until it was upon us. Another easy UA expansion. I love how they just throw those at you. 
not even trying to make them difficult to collect. Most of the items, actually. How much ammo do we have? I'm gonna say 280? 280. I think 350 is the max? No. Now we can get back to the ship deck. And... Deactivate the force fields. To grab the first key. Wait, grab this first. And I don't think I activated the thingy. No, I did. No, I didn't. No, we did. We. Well, let me go Is that the first one? Yeah, it is. No. Let me go back down. I'm do that other room last because I hate that room. And I'm going to cut it again. I want these to be as short as possible, so one sec. <laughs> 